Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stock Market Today. It's Alyssa Quorum and Ed Carson here. And Ed, another strong day in the market, and we're going to be taking a look at three growth stocks with some interesting chart action. Yeah, Netflix broke out today, uh, but we also had stocks moving into buy zones from Fortinet and Infi. So really strong action from growth stocks, as you say. Yeah, and here's a chart of the NASDAQ. We saw the tech heavy index closing up 1.1% for the day, a new closing high here. And we also saw the S&P 500 close up about seven tenths of a percent while the Dow finished up six tenths of a percent. And uh, even with a little bit of selling late into the session, we powered back higher and closed almost at session highs for the day. Yeah, really impressive. I mean, the stocks, I mean, Sunday afternoon when I wrote something about the futures, the Dow futures were down almost 2% uh, versus fair value. But, you know, we opened slightly lower and just had a really powerful day. Uh, you know, coronavirus cases are surging and yet nothing seems to stop this rally, especially the growth stocks. You know, we've, uh, this is, I think, the seventh straight day for the NASDAQ. We're basically at all time highs. Just really impressive action. Yeah, it is. And let's take a look at some of those growth stocks. You mentioned Netflix. So we're going to take a look at that first. Ticker there is NFLX. And this is one of our coronavirus plays that we've been watching all rally long. It pulled back to that 50 day line, found some nice support there. But a strong breakout today of a gain of about 3.2% into new high ground today. Yeah, really strong. Last week was a buying opportunity as well when it rebounded from that 50 day line and 10 week line. Um, and this week, you know, it's, it's clearing a buy point. I think it's 459.07. And that is a flat base on a weekly chart. And it just, uh, just shows up briefly on, on there. It, you know, so it, that is a proper buy point, sort of a base on base formation from, you know, that prior action there. So it's, you know, it's sort of a lot of these coronavirus plays are strengthening again. And this is clearly, you know, with, with cases picking up, uh, even though the market's not, doesn't seem afraid, there definitely is these COVID plays are still outperforming. Mm -hmm. And elsewhere, let's check in on Fortinet ticker FTNT in the security software group, seeing a gain today of about 4.5% in uh, above average turnover here, clearing a downward sloping trend line. Uh, we did see it not too long ago, almost come down to that 50 day on the weekly. We did see it bounce off of the 10 week. Uh, so what do you think about uh, clearing this downward sloping trend line after this uh, strong rebound here from that weekly support level. It's another entry point if you wanted to make it there, like now you've seen it bounce off of there because you know, there was this sort of area of resistance that it, you know, it got through. So if you wanna add on a few more shares or even start a position, this wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, you know, and it's building towards a, a possible new base which right there, it was almost a flat base. It actually, we say flat bases can only work if they're up to 15% deep. This was like 15.2% or 15.3. So it didn't quite qualify. So there's that. There's also a potentially, you could almost say a mini double bottom as you can sort of see right there. So there's a lot of entry points, four entry points on this fairly small, you know, consolidation. Uh, so there's a lot of places to get into this stock. Obviously work from home, people need more security. Software security is, been very strong uh, section. And this has been a real, real big uh, power performance. And there's one reason why it was the stock of the day today. Yeah, you make sure to check that article out at investors.com. Uh, definitely one of the players in this space with strong fundamentals and a nice earnings gap there uh, that investors could have taken advantage of as well. Uh, did a pretty good job of holding most of those gains, even though it did pull back uh, to this 10 week line. But like you said, plenty of buying opportunities here for this one uh, in a market that has seen a lot of other names just uh, go, go skyward. And, and there are a lot of extended stocks right now. So good that we're still seeing buying opportunities for top growth stocks. And another one that we uh, recently saw rebounding off of the key support level is Infi, uh, a chip maker for the data center segment. And let's go, go ahead and pop over to a weekly chart here. Now this one's been a couple of weeks down near that 10 week line, but it's now starting to come off of that level a little bit more this week. And that happens sometimes. We've seen it with a number of stocks, Netflix, that's Dexcom, Vertex. Sometimes they'll try to, you know, they'll hit support and they'll try to move off and then they'll come back. But as you see, it's still moved up. Even if you bought it earlier, it was probably still doing okay. It looks mm -hmm. like it's making that move. 
And this is really one of the leaders, as you're saying, it's in the data center space. It's been outperforming, you could argue, Net, um, NVIDIA, certainly keeping up pace with NVIDIA, and definitely a bigger name like AMD. So this is, this is sort of the first opportunity to buy one of the top stocks, one of the first breakouts of this market rally, uh, mm -hmm. you know, since that breakout. There really hasn't been too many opportunities to do so. Yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, so we typically do look at those base breakouts as good areas to initiate positions, but the first rebound off of the 10 week line is uh, it can be an area to either add or uh, d depending on your conviction in the stock a place to initiate a uh, position as well. Yeah, and we add, we added this to Swing Trader today, or they I didn't, but you know, and we didn't. But uh, IBD <laughs> added did. this to Swing. We did. It's fine. <laughs> we did the greater we. Um, but and you interviewed the CEO of Infi uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. I think that you know people interested in this company should should definitely check that out. Yes, I did. Uh, so make sure you check out investors.com/slash investing strategies. My interview with uh, Infi CEO Ford Tamer is there for you to get some good fundamental research for uh, a leading name in the chip sector. In addition to the detailed chart analysis that you often get from us on this show, as well as IBD Live. And if you haven't checked out IBD Live yet, make sure you do that. Uh, you can take a free two week trial, see what it's all about. It's our daily live stream for the first hour plus of trade where our experts are sharing their screens and getting into the nitty gritty, talking about notable growth stocks making compelling moves. So we hope you join us. And Ed, you're on there almost every day. Well, it helps that Chris Gessel has been on vacation lately. So I, I've been on a little <laughs> bit more, yeah. but we talked about all three of these stocks today. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty much as they were moving past buy yeah. points. And so it's definitely an opportunity to get on, you know, get analysis of these top stocks right as they're moving. So I yes. think it's really valuable. And, and I think it's a fun time for people who are mm -hmm. watching. Yeah, we have a lot of fun there. Mm -hmm. And one more announcement. We would love your feedback about our videos, so make sure you check out our video survey. Go to investors.com slash video survey. Once again, we would love your feedback, investors.com slash video survey. This information will help us improve our videos and create better content for you, and thanks in advance for doing that. But that's it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.